I learned how to be indifferent. But how do you be, become indifferent without being a jerk or being an ass? And that is, yo yo, what's up my inspired alphas? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are talking about four skills that will help you overtake 90% of the men in the world. They have worked for me and I know they might work for you. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. I have arranged them in the number of importance, so stick to the last one because it's the most important. Let's jump into it. Of course, I'm telling you that for retention. Come on. Number one is communication skills. Guys, I was awkward and shy when it came to talking to women and talking to men who had high status. Guys who, to me, I used to look up to. I used to act very nervous around all these people. And, of course, there is no way it was helping me. Now, I don't know if you are in that situation, but if you, if you are in that situation, then it is not working for you. It never worked for me. It is not working for you. And the only way you can get out of that situation is actually learning how to talk learning how to articulate yourself you see this is what i did i started approaching women not for just getting their numbers but getting in that uncomfortable situation and it has worked wonders because <laughs> right now i know how to talk to women i know how to talk to all this high low everyone i can talk to everyone but i did get out there and put myself in uncomfortable situation another thing i did that really helped me in terms of articulating my words was telling myself to be 100 percent honest that is you find that most guys they just don't have the balls to be honest that when when you get offended you know you just roll with the punches but when you know how to defend yourself with your words then it takes a lot of pressure and a lot of misery that most people really harbor you might find that is the one thing that is actually making your life more miserable that it, than it must be the fact that you can't approach conversational problems people are just disrespecting you for the sake because you can't stand up for yourself once i started being direct being honest even if I know this will lead, maybe it might, it might lead to a confrontation. I was not like, hmm, let's just pussy out and, you know, maybe things will work themselves out. I was facing, in fact, I was waiting for just people to disrespect me so that I can check them. And it has worked wonders. Number two is the skill of being indifferent to other people. Guys. It is natural for people to care about what other people think. I know this was something that was crippling me. Uh, guys, I've been a people pleaser for the biggest part of my life. I started the self-improvement four years ago. Imagine for over 19, 20 years, I have been a people pleaser. But now once i learned how to be indifferent but how do you be become indifferent without being a jerk or being an ass and that is having your own purpose the reason why you are always thinking what other people think about you is that you don't have anything going on so you your attention is always focused on what is happening around you but once you have something that you have your eyes on a goal maybe it's a goal maybe maybe it's fitness maybe it's your job maybe it's studying but something that has your attention for most of the time then you get to filter out other distractions now you'll still be thinking about hmm i wonder what is thinking or what is what she's thinking now you won't eliminate those thoughts but you will be indifferent you won't act out of the fear that people are judging you because i used to do that all the time i used to base my decisions on 
are they going to like me if I do this? And it has, once I stopped doing that, now I started doing things because I was selfish. I was asking, hmm, if I do this, how will it affect me first? How am I going to improve myself? If I'm not going to improve myself, what's the point? What's the point? Now, remember that when you're improving yourself, you'll piss off a lot of people. And that is the reality. But hey, if you can't piss off one, two, three guys, then you are not doing something right. You, you are a people pleaser. So if you have no haters, if you have, if you have no people who, who really are pissed because you do the things the way you do, you are unique in your own way, then of course, of course, you need to reevaluate. But I can tell you for a fact, my life has changed and I've, I'm so far ahead of the people I started with just by the fact that I am indifferent to most of what other people think about me. Yeah, judge me, whatever. I'm not going to die. Number three is focus. Guys, having focus is a skill. Remember, we are living in an age where attention, we have very little attention span. And it's because we are either scrolling on social media, Instagram, TikTok, doing all these things that take away our attention. Now, I've always been a preacher of self-love and selfishness. You need to be selfish because once I became selfish with my attention, then I started to focus. But hey, you can't have focus if you don't have a goal because where will you focus your attention on? So guys, it's a skill. Learn how to focus on your goals. Right now, say I'm, 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 I'm making this YouTube video. So um, I am focused. All my attention is here. All my attention is how am I going to make someone else's life better through my experiences. And guys, I can tell you for a fact, I, I, I was always, my eyes were always wandering everywhere. Everywhere. I was the guy who couldn't maintain focus for just even a single minute but now if you if you learn how to focus then you'll you'll start to notice the opportunities that are actually right in your face and that is how you'll get for you'll, you 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 will overcome overtake all these men who are still wandering looking for luck for you you have focused and you are seeing opportunities because opportunities are just right in front of you. Last but not the least is high value skill. Guys, I can tell you having a high value skill that not, me, not many people have will actually make you more money. Will, of course, you will, build, you will build status, but it's the number one way of overtaking all these men. Guys, I have, I have, I, I know how to talk to, I know how to talk to women, which most guys don't. I know how to build confidence, which most guys don't have. I know how to communicate well, which most people don't. And I also have a skill in forex trading, which most people don't know how to, but most people want to trade. So guys, all these things that I have built over time, they have propelled me past the average man and now I'm in a position where I can leverage my skills to make more money, to make more, to build more status and to connect with people who will build my life rather than drag me down. So guys, it is that simple, it is that simple, that simple. If you got value from today's video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. You can watch this video, you can watch this video. Please comment, comment, support the video. Recommend it to someone who might need it. Yeah. See you in the next video. Peace out.